howdy people i'm back with another video and today i have another dip powder review for you all azor beauty was kind enough to reach out to me and wanted me to review one of their dip powder kits so this is the kit that i'm going to be reviewing for you all today it is a 20 piece kit so let's see what's all included in here Ooh. All right, this is a huge kit, okay? So this kit comes with after service card. I don't think I've seen too many companies do that, but that's pretty cool. It also has the instructions that tell you how to do your dip powder mani, okay? So that's nice. It comes with a file, it comes with the cuticle pusher. It comes with replacement brushes. So these are for when you're using your dip powder base and um, dip powder top coat. If the brush happens to harden up, these are just backups. So that's nice that they included that. It also comes with a fluffy brush, which is always good to have. I love using these for ombre. And then it comes with, okay, I'm gonna start over here and show you guys what it comes with. This is really nice. I don't think I've actually seen any dip powder kits come with this but it is the tray that you use to dip with, which is really nice. So um, this tray can actually be used two ways. One, if you put your finger here, it can be used for a French tip, or it can be used the other way where you just kind of lay it and then pour the powder over. So it's really nice that they included these. Most, like I said, most kids don't include this. Comes with a buffing block, which is nice. Then it comes with the four step dip liquid system. So for number one, we have the base. For two, we have the activator. Three, we have the top. And then four, we have the brush saver. So these are all the dip liquids that come with the kit. And then we have all of the lovely dip powders. This is a 10 gram container, which comes with 0.33 ounces. And this is color 29. Okay, it doesn't look like they come sealed, but this is a really pretty color. This is like a peachy color with a gold. I'm curious to know the consistency of them. Ooh, okay, nice and smooth. I like that. This is very, very finely milled. I like that a lot. Okay, so that's the color 299. What I am gonna do though, is I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these out. Again, it does come with 20 different colors. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these out and get them swatched, and then I'll be right back. Okay, happy people. For anybody that's new to my channel, I do wanna show you all how I swatch my dip powders. I typically swatch six dip powders at a time. I go through and apply the base coat to the inside of the swatch stick and then just put it inside of the dip container. I leave it in there until I do all six powders and I come back through, um, dust it off and do my second layer. Um, after I get my second layer of dip powder onto all of the swatch sticks, then I remove all of them from the individual containers. Um, now with working with glitters as well, you wanna make sure you wipe off that brush so that you don't contaminate your actual dip liquid with the glitters. Um, but yeah, after I finish um, all six, then I'll go through, take them all out, dust them off. Um, and then from there, I will go ahead and activate. So one side you'll see it glossy and then on the other side you'll see it matte. I wanted to share my swatching process for my dip powders in case it might be helpful to anyone else. I found this the quickest and easiest way to swatch my dip powders. This is what all of the colors look like swatch. I am gonna go ahead and show you each of the colors up close. So this is number 224, which is this really pretty kind of mauvey purple color. That's what it would look like matte. This is 306, a really pretty black, purple, and pink glitter. That's what it would look like matte. This is 304, a nice uh, orangey red. That's what it would look like matte. Here is a really nice soft nude. This looks like a nice, pretty soft pink color. This is number 62. This really beautiful peach that has these golden uh, glitters in it. This is number 229. Here we have this beautiful gray color here. This is number 228. Next is 119, this lovely deep green color. Kind of reminds me of Christmas green. Here we actually have a white in the collection, which is really nice. This is number 22. Next we have 171, which is another beautiful peach color. We have a beautiful gold glitter. Next we have this beautiful muted blue color. This is color 139. We have 307, which is this nice black color. Next we have 305, which is like this burnt orangey red color. Really pretty, perfect for fall. Next we have this beautiful light purple giving me lavender vibes. Next we have 302, which is this really pretty pink. We have this lovely silver glitter. It's like a finely milled hollow silver, really pretty. It's 303. We have um, this nice pink color here. That's number 90. 
We have this gorgeous nude, number 71. That's a really nice nude, I like that a lot. We have 301, which is another like soft pink color. We have 300, which is this really, I don't even know how to, kind of autumn orange color is how I would describe it. And that's really pretty. So yeah, these are all the colors in the collection here. I am gonna decide what I wanna do off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, happy people, I am back. I've decided what look I wanna do. I'm gonna go in with color 171 from the kit. And then I found this really beautiful uh, glitter color from Amber Dips A Lot that I thought just paired really well with this. And so I'm gonna be using these colors in my look today. I did go ahead and apply my tips off camera. Um, I've been wanting lately to try more looks with half cover tips and dip powder. I normally just do it on my natural nail or full cover tips. And so I'm gonna be building up the structure of my nail with these tips. Um, these are my stiletto tips I got from Amazon. You guys, these are on sale for $1.99 right now. If you guys wanna get your hands on them, you can. I listed it on my community tab, but I freaking love these tips. I've used them, this is like my third set that I've used them in now and I've only had them for like a week. So really like these a lot and I actually just ordered four. So yeah, that's that. So these are the tips I'm using. I wanna build up the structure of the nail. I have this clear acrylic from the Cheapy Kiss kit that I got from Walmart years ago and I'm like really just trying to use up the rest of this powder. And so I'm planning on building up the structure of the nail. I am gonna go in with the base coat first. I'm not able to dip this because the powder is so low, so I will have to pour over for this method. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use the base liquids too. Yeah, first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in where the tip meets the natural nail and just put a little bit of product there. And this is so that I could try to build up the structure and apex of the nail. Now you know now you all know typically when I do my dip powder sets, I like to use the gel method, but since this kit came with actual dip liquids, I wanted to go ahead and test them out. So I'm gonna go halfway up the nail, and then I'm literally just gonna pour the powder over so that it can get into that base coat. Okay. Tap off, pour again, and then tap off. So I'm gonna be transferring back and forth a lot, but like I said, I really wanna get through the rest of this little powder that I have. It's not it's not much, so yeah, I wanna get through it. So that's the first layer. I'm gonna go through and do that on all the nails. And I will say, the there is a strong smell to this dip liquid. It smells just like a really strong chemical smell. I guess you could say almost like super glue, which I know the base coat pretty much is super glue. So yeah. Okay, so this is what all the nails look like with one coat of the clear. I am gonna go in with the second coat of the clear and just move a little bit further down the nail. I'm just gonna dust everything off here. And I'm gonna go through and do that one more time to all the nails. Okay, so this is what two layers of the clear looks like. So this is me building the structure of the nail out. Just gonna go ahead and dust away all the excess powder. And now I have the base for the nails that I wanna do. So y'all know I've been trying to perfect my little glitter French tip situation. So I think I actually wanna try that again, right? Um, but I'm gonna do it a different way. So these dip trays are actually designed for a French tip. What you're supposed to do is pour the dip powder over here and then on this ledge, you're supposed to just like slide the, the powder, slide the nail into the powder, and it's supposed to create that perfect smile line. So I'm gonna test that and see if it works. And I'm actually gonna do it with the glitter powder from Amber Dips A Lot. So I am gonna go ahead and just pour that into the well here, okay? Like so. Such a pretty color, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna start off with um, this color as the French tip first, and then I'm gonna go in with this 171 color as my base on this particular nail. So, this is what we're gonna do, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and coat the entire nail. I think I'm gonna have to work fast with this. And I'm also gonna have this color, the 171 color, already prepped and ready to go. I have to work really fast with this because, because it's base coat, that means it's gonna dry it's gonna air dry, right? So it's gonna dry pretty fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a thin layer of the base coat to the entire nail, okay? Like so. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick dip into this powder here, like so. And it says it's supposed to create the perfect French tip. Don't see that really happening, but we're gonna 
going to try to guide it along here. Like so. We'll tap off the excess and just kind of like pat the glitters into place. Okay. And then while it's still wet, I'm going to pour over for that base. Okay. We'll see how well this worked out, y'all. Because <laughs> I really don't know. Oh, I contaminated it. Mm. Okay, y'all. So this is what we have. All right. I think the theory worked well. Maybe what I need to do, because I also realized I just contaminated this powder, so I really won't be able to use it again. Um, so I'll probably just end up just recycling this in as the base coat. <laughs> yeah, because it's already contaminated. Um, but I think what I want to do differently with this is uh, just work on the base coat first right and then come in and maybe see if I can get the glitter on top and these glitters are sticking up it's probably gonna make sense for me to just dip lay flat like I had been doing I'm just gonna remove the, the ones that are kind of sticking up to be honest okay I'm gonna see how we can fix this this is interesting here so that's that's what we're working with so far okay um, I do feel like I have to find a way to get these glitters to lay flat yeah I guess I haven't I don't know how to work with dip liquids and this French tip but I do feel like the French tip didn't turn out half bad so maybe just let me go in with another layer of the base here okay and I'm just gonna work on that small line area I guess maybe I'll just pour over okay and onto that small line like so but I don't want to waste this product you know so I'm gonna do like that and then tap off Yeah, I kind of messed up my French tip. <laughs> Y'all, it's a struggle. It was all the dream. <laughs> I thought I had it figured out, but I don't. We'll be back, y'all. We'll be back. Okay, y'all, we're going to come back and address this French tip a little bit later. Uh, I did one more coat off camera, but I'm not really sure how to fix it just yet. So I'm going to marinate on that. I am going to go ahead and move on to my ring finger. I want to do a full glitter nail on this one. So that one, I feel like it's going to be easy to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply this um, base coat to the entire nail and I'm gonna dip it flat into the um, my dip powder tray to make sure I get all those glitters to transfer and then what I'll try to do is make sure that that glitter is laying flat um, before it fully like cures you know so that's the plan for that one here so I'm gonna go in and dip it upside down like so okay Okay, yeah, that's beautiful. And then I want to make sure I get the sides as well. Like so. And then I'm just going to tap off the excess here. Before it dries, I just want to go around that cuticle area. Okay, so that is really, really pretty. I like that a lot. Um, I want to try to get rid of these, like, chunky glitters, though, that are kind of hanging over. So I'm just going to move that. So uh, this is what we have for the glitter nail. I don't even know. I don't even think I need a second dip though. You know what I mean? So that's really pretty. Okay. Then next, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go with this peachy color all over this middle nail right here. This is a freestyle by the way too, you guys. I actually did not plan out what design I wanted to do. So I'm just kind of going with the flow here, which can be good or bad sometimes depending on what's going on. So yeah, I'm going to try to just remove some of this base coat here. I'm going to go ahead and pour this over like so. The nails are too long to dip. So when the nails are too long to dip, you just pour over. And you want to make sure you get all the sides and everything. That looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and let that just kind of set into place. Yeah, I think I'm going to just stick with the peach color on this nail as well. I'm liking how that peach is looking with that solid glitter nail. So I think I'm going to just stick with this like simple design, you know. Okay. 
All right, y'all, so this is what the nails are looking like so far. Next, I'm gonna go in with the activator and activate the nails. I was trying to decide if I wanted to cure encapsulate these two nails here, but I, I think I'm gonna decide against it because I don't want it to come out looking cloudy. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just activate all the nails. I'm gonna do two generous coats of activator and then we will proceed to filing and seeing how we're gonna uh, handle these glitter nails because baby, I <laughs> it's new for me, okay? And I don't know what I'm doing, so hopefully I can, I can get them looking right. If y'all have any tips and tricks on how to work with dips and glitters, dip liquids and glitters. I figured out how to do it with gel, but I don't know how to do it with actual dip liquids. So if y'all can let me know, that would be greatly appreciated, okay? This glitter is really pretty though, really, really pretty. Okay, so I'm back after, I don't know, like maybe 10 minutes. And this is really weird. I've never had this happen with a dip powder kit before. The activated did not cause the dip powder to harden. So I'm not really sure what to do. If you all can see here, when I press into this, it's leaving an indent of my fingernail, right? Like, almost as if like it just, it just didn't harden. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. And it's weird, it didn't do it with the glitters, right? It only did it with the dip powders that came in the dip powder kit, which is kind of strange to me. Like if you can see, I'm literally like, I can push my hand through it and my fingernail indent is still there. So that lets me know that the product really didn't harden all the way. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed with filing because um, I need to go to church. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just see what I can do in regards to filing. Like it doesn't even sound hard, you know, but we just gonna, we just gonna work with what we got here, y'all. So I'm gonna just see what I can do and kind of go from there, you know? Most of the shaping is already done, so I don't have to do too much. I just need to take a little bit off of the sides here. And then just crisping up my stiletto. Yeah, I don't think these nails are gonna last too long at all. But that's okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's definitely still gummy, which is not good, so. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually gonna be able to wear this set, you guys. It didn't it didn't set all the way, so I don't know I don't know what to do here. It's still very much so gummy. Next I'm gonna go in with this buffer and just see if I can get somewhat of a smooth surface. But I won't be surprised if this stuff files off with it. So let's see. Normally after you like activate and then file, you're supposed to go in and activate again, but honestly, I'm a little scared to do that because like I said, it's not really drying. So I don't wanna do too much more to this set that might like mess it up. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about these dip powders. Like they, it's still never set. As you can see my indent of my fingernail here. I don't wanna poke around with it too much cause I'm still trying to salvage the set, but y'all this stuff is still really soft. You see, like, let me see. It's just like, it's soft, it's not it's not hard at all. So um, I'm gonna pop these right off. I'm happy I put on my peel off base coat. Just to try to salvage the set a little bit, I'm just gonna go ahead and just like not mess with it too much more because I don't want it to start peeling off because I do have somewhere to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate the nails. I'm just gonna do that using some good old gel base gel top coat. For this nail in particular, I'm gonna put on maybe three layers of the base coat and then top coat it. And then on all of the rest of the nails, I'm gonna just do like one or two layers of of base coat and then top coat so yeah so I'm gonna cure that for 60 alright y'all so this is what the nails are looking so far after I applied the base coat and top coat to all the nails I did go in and do a little bit more uh, filing and shaping just to keep everything nice and crisp so as y'all can see on this nail there's a lot of scuff marks and things and that French tip ain't looking so hot. So I thought what I could do is go ahead and go around that smile line with my gel liner from Bellavina Double Dip 
and just kind of crisping up that smile line a little bit and that's really just to hide the fact that I didn't do a good job at it. <laughs> so I'm going to go through and just um, highlight the smile line with this gold glitter liner here. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, that just kind of hides what happened there. I wish I had like a peachy liner though. That would have, I think, been a little bit cuter, but I think we're gonna make this do what it do. All right, y'all, so I am back. I did go ahead and do my layers of base coat and top coat off camera. Um, I did go in with the Pretty Diva top coat instead of the SXC. Yeah, y'all, I had a lot of issues with this uh, dip powder not curing all the way. It seems like on this nail, it did finally cure, but when I did my thumbnail off camera, which I did this off camera maybe like three or four, yeah, I did this off camera maybe like, I did this off camera like four hours ago. And if you all can see, like it's still not fully cured all the way. I can still feel that it's soft. So I don't know what's going on with the dip powder and these dip liquids. To me, it seems like the dip powder liquids aren't working with the dip powder. Um, so yeah, I don't know. So I am going to go ahead though and continue on. Um, Y'all know my sets ain't complete without a little bit of bling. So I am going to go in with a new rhinestone glue that I have. It is the Beatles nail rhinestone glue. I've been wanting to try this out. Lately I've been using the McCart one and really liking it, but I wanted to try and give this one a go too. I might actually do a comparison video of my McCart. Let me know if y'all want to see that down in the comments below. I am going to go in with some bling here. So I went through my collection and I found these beautiful kind of peachy looking rhinestones as well as these beautiful orange rhinestones. And I thought they would look just perfect with this set. And so I do have my bling placement all ready to go here. So this is what I'm going to be applying to the nails. And so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply that really quick. I'm going to throw on some cuticle oil and then we'll be all done here. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, baby, I am loving how she turned out. I say it's peachy vibes in the air today, okay? Yes, baby, this Manny is giving summer vibes all up and through here, baby. I'm ready for a peach lemonade, okay? I'm ready for some peach tea. I'm feeling real peachy today, okay? <laughs> Y'all don't mind me, I'm kind of corny. <laughs> Yes, I am loving it. Y'all, I'm here for the bling placement. I'm here for this absolutely stunning peach color that came in that kit. And y'all, I am here for this amber dips a lot dip powder as well. Do y'all see the glitters? Do y'all see the shimmer? Do y'all see the shine? Okay. So my final thoughts on this Azor dip powder kit. I honestly don't know how I feel about it. Um, I found it very strange that when I used the dip powder with their dip liquids, the product didn't actually cure all the way through. So um, on this nail over here, I did this nail well over four hours ago and it is still soft and it still hasn't fully cured. The only reason it feels hard is because I put my base and top coat on and the same is true. Well, this finger and my pinky finger finally did harden after a while. So I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I do feel like the entire dip system should work if especially if it's within one brand um, I don't know if it had anything to do with maybe using my kiss powder um, underneath but to be honest with you I've used my kiss powder with other dip liquids and didn't have an issue so I'm not really sure um, like why that happened um, if you all were to purchase this kit I would actually recommend just using their dip powders using the gel method um, which is a method that I typically prefer when I'm using dip powders anyway so just to avoid having issues with these liquids not like fully curing with the activator I would highly highly recommend you all using it with the gel method so yeah I do actually like the dip powders themselves they are smooth they are easy to work with um, the containers they're 0.33 ounces you'll still be able to get um, a lot of use out of it um, I did use up quite a bit of this container simply because I spilled a lot of it but um, outside of that I do think the dip powders are pretty nice that's my thoughts on Azure I did have a good time though working with the Beatles rhinestone glue I actually really like this a lot I found it kind of comparable to the McCart and then in regards to the amber dips a lot sunshine glitz dip powder baby I am in love with this let me show y'all what else this dip powder can do okay yes y'all she glow 
glow in the dark. I said she glowing, y'all. Uh, she glowing, y'all. Yes! I did not even know that this glitter glowed in the dark. Like, oh my gosh, y'all. I was in the process of doing my set, and then my daughter woke up, and then I went to another, and I went to the other room, and it was dark, and then I was like, are these glitters glowing in the dark? Like, yeah! So it made me love this set even more. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you all are curious about the sets I had on at the beginning of this video, I will leave full tutorials for both of them linked down in the description box below. And let me know if you all have used the Azure Dip Powder system and if you all have had the issue as well. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!